Hello, my name is Marielle. Welcome back to another one of my movie reviews. Is it my imagination or has that cloud been in the same spot for six months? Nope, it must be my imagination. However, I did see Nope in July and it is still on my mind. Avoid the UFO in the sky and let's talk about Nope. Nope is a 2022 film. Siblings who are living on a solitary ranch experience uncanny events. Noticing peculiar spectacles in the sky, OJ and Emerald install cameras in the yard to see what's happening. Avoiding all trailers and details that could spoil my watch, I walked into Nope expecting the unexpected. Nope is a unique sci-fi thriller. While this film kept me thinking, some elements deserved more fleshing out. One segment didn't belong in the movie entirely, driving a completely different horror atmosphere. Daniel Kaluuya and Kiki Palmer are tremendous. OJ and Emerald have very contrasting personalities. One is reserved, while the other is outspoken and energetic. That's siblings for you. Kaluuya did an outstanding job with OJ's reserved behavior, bearing little emotion. Palmer's erratic and goofy personality had everyone laughing in my theater. According to the director, Emerald's intro scene was shot 14 times because Palmer did it differently on each take. Part of me wishes that OJ and Emerald were the only characters. The supporting cast is great adding comedic levity, but some characters were not necessary. Credits include Brandon Perea, Michael Wincott, Stephen Yoon, Ren Schmidt, and a short appearance by Keith David. The one part of Nope that did not make sense in the atmosphere of this film was Ricky's backstory, played by Stephen Yoon. It's a completely different film. While it does connect with the events of the narrative in the middle, we didn't need this story. The segment involving a deranged chimp was the most disturbing part of the film. Nope is already about one thing, and that's sci-fi. Sci-fi and real horror don't mesh together. I really cannot say too much about Nope. It's a film that you should see with fresh eyes. Jordan Peele has a knack for horror, specifically unique themes to the genre. Visually, this film incorporates resonant cinematography and camera edits. It makes you pay attention to every little detail. Layouts for one major creation were shaped by an otherworldly design. It's the story that falls flat. Nope is too long, losing my interest by the end. Peel concentrated too hard on the bizarreness. He could have explained details more thoroughly, specifically the sci-fi elements. I will give the film credit for its tension buildup. With the soundtrack, camera angles, and ambiguity, I was on the edge of my seat. Be cautious as the chimpanzee scene is very unsettling. I looked away. It could be triggering to audiences who have had relevant experiences. My favorite part about watching Nope was the audience reaction in the theater. A large group of people sat in the row behind me. <laughs> in a mix of hysterical laughter, mainly at Emerald's dialogue, and eagerly preparing for jump scares, I loved their reactions. Go see Nope in theaters. It may not be a film for everyone, but you will not be able to get it off your mind. Thanks for catching my review of Nope. Did you come up with any theories after watching this film? Let me know in the comment section. Heading into the swamp next week, we are going to see what Shrek is up to. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel or to my Patreon. My name is Marielle, and this has been another one of my movie reviews.